Okay, it is Wednesday night and I've been having a great week so far. I went to the gym once yesterday and did an awesome workout. And then I've been using my exercise equipment at home. I worked out yesterday at home and I'm going to work out again tonight at home and it's just going great. I got some new workout clothes which whenever I get new workout clothes it really inspires me to work out more so I'm super happy about that and I think it's gonna be a great week. Alright I just got back from Albertsons and Safeway and I'll show you what all I got. Here's uh, the bag of meat that I got at Albertsons. I got one pound of rockfish and I got this beautiful um, beef ribs. This is two and a half pounds of beef ribs. And what's great about this is they didn't cut all the meat off the bones, which they, which a lot of uh, stores will cut the meat off the bones. I got a Snapple for me to drink at Safeway. And at Safeway I also got um, some barbecue pork shanks to eat and then I got some honey barbecue sauce. If you see a theme here I'm gonna be doing lots of grilling over the next few days and then at Safeway I got some bottom round steak I liked the last bottom round steak so much I decided to get some more. <sighs> it is so hot right now. It is like, I guess it's like 97 and it's supposed to be in like 104 tomorrow. This week has been good. Sorry the video has been late. Um, I was having sleep issues last night and I decided I just better to go to sleep than to work on uploading the video. <sighs> now I'm going to work on uploading the video. Um, let me recap this week on my Lose It. So Monday I had sausage with sauerkraut and potatoes for breakfast and then for lunch I had more shrimp salad with um, Thousand Island dressing and a cup of Earl Grey tea and then for lunch or for dinner I had more sausage with sauerkraut and a couple slices of bread and then snacks I had was some Starburst and some rainbow chip frosting and some milk and then I got in um, five minutes on the stair stepper 20 minutes weightlifting and 10 minutes doing yoga and I was under 340 calories then on Tuesday I had sausage with sauerkraut for breakfast and potato bread and then for lunch I had a beef brisket sandwich from the hospital it was it was really good um, it wasn't like your traditional barbecue beef, beef brisket it was more like uh, Mexican style beef brisket. It had like this really yummy like refried bean aioli and um, it had like a salsa kind of on it, like a pico de gallo kind of on it. It was really good. And then um, I had a t tomato and cucumber and avocado salad and I had a brisk strawberry um, tea and then for dinner I had roasted curry chicken and cauliflower and I've kind of been eating on that for the rest of the week and I had some chai with that and then snacks I had that day was a cup of milk and some coffee and that day I went to the gym and I got 45 minutes of weightlifting, one hour and 30 minutes of walking and one hour of house cleaning. I think I cleaned the kitchen that day and then I got one hour of weeding in and other yard work too. Oh, and I was under 1,442 calories on Tuesday. And then Wednesday I had more curry chicken for lunch, 
with a diet soda and then I had a strawberry jelly sandwich with frozen blueberries in it and it was had almond butter and uh, potato bread. I'll, I'll write down like how I made it but basically what I did was I took two slices of potato bread I put strawberry jelly on one slice and then I put almond butter on the other slice and I put um, frozen blueberries on it and then I grilled it on the grill and it like melted the jelly and the almond butter and the blueberries it was really yummy and then snacks I had was um, three tablespoons of peanut butter just right out of the jar I like to do that sometimes especially when I'm craving protein and then I had two slices of potato bread and oh this was another sandwich I made this was a grilled sandwich that had the potato bread and then I put some of the roast chicken breast and I used Caesar salad dressing on, to spread on the bread and then I put some green onions on it and then I grilled it and I'll put a description of that in the blog too okay and then I got in one hour of walking and I was under 1,282 calories that day and then Thursday was a cheat day for me and I'm really feeling like I'm going to start my period any day now because I'm getting serious cravings. Thursday, um, I had a bagel, uh, a cinnamon raisin bagel for breakfast. I had two of those and I had two oranges. Then I had a peach iced tea for lunch with um, barbecue pork shanks. And I think that was Snapple peach iced tea. And then I had an Oreo cake for dinner with Hawaiian barbecue potato chips and a mystery flavor sparkling water by um, Sparkling Ice. And then I had the leftover sausage and sauerkraut. And I got in three hours of walking that day and I was over 138 calories. Then on Friday was my big cheat and I had a tuna melt for breakfast and for lunch I had a sandwich that had mayo, spinach salad dressing, roast chicken and cheddar cheese on it. And then for dinner I had a Haritos pineapple soda. Nutella, Sour Patch ice cream, um, dill pickle chips, um, bacon cheddar fries, gummy bears, sour candies, and a pickled sausage. And for exercise, I got in one hour of walking, 15 minutes of bicycling, 5 minutes of stair climbing, and 20 minutes of weightlifting. And I was over 525 calories. Then Saturday I had some Nutella and dill pickle chips and cheddar fries and gummy bears for breakfast. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> and then for lunch I had a tuna melt. And I didn't exercise that day and I didn't um, eat anything else that day. I think I slept most of that day and I was under 51 calories. Then Sunday I had roasted curry chicken and cauliflower for breakfast and some coffee. And then for lunch I had a tuna melt with two cups of milk. And for dinner I had a curry chicken salad sandwich with a cup of milk. And snacks I had was an apple, a bagel, and um, a cup of milk. Um, and some curry roasted vegetables, some cheese, and an orange. So I snacked a lot that day. And I got a lot of exercise in too. I got um, 15 minutes on the stationary bike, 5 minutes on the stair stepper, 1 hour walking, and 20 minutes weightlifting. And I was under 339 calories. 
So this week wasn't the best week for me, and let me let me double check and see what my week was like. Um, so yeah, so let me show you here real quick. So here it shows that I was only under 2,788 calories this week. Still not bad. I was under like one day's worth of calories because see my daily calorie budget is 2,505 calories so I was under by one day's worth of calories. That's still a good amount. But um, but here's what my average usually is. And what I'm thinking is these are like the average times of the month and then always the week like right before my period or during my period I seem to average to have a really poor because remember last week it showed that I was around 2,000 also so I seem to average around 2,000 when I get those really bad period cravings and then whatever week this is I tend to do a really good job because there's always that one week that I do a really good job and then the rest of the weeks it seems to average around 4,000 under. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I can notice a trend with um, it, and it's all it all has to do with like my menstrual cycle as a woman you know. I just think that's really cool that um, my body functions that way and you know it's just neat thing to be able to predict about yourself so I did not do the best job this week but hey if this is a week that you are feeling mad cravings maybe you would want to follow this week because there were some tasty treats but um but I do not suggest this week to anybody because this is probably one of my worst binges yet and I I really don't want to uh, be an example of how you should act when <laughs> you get those cravings you know there's, there's got to be a better way and the better way probably would be for me to have bought my own like baking supplies and baked healthier treats to snack on and that probably would have been the wise idea and maybe I should do that in the future just think about how I can make healthy treats during that time of the month when I get those cravings you know that I can snack on and not feel depraved of that sugar and carbs and saltiness that I'm craving so I think no this wasn't my best week but I know it's a it's a something that can be fixed and I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you next week.